Mastering No Mind Scholarship presents famous Career Team. Today, I'm going to talk about the career scope in MSc Biotechnology. But before that, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, let's begin. Firstly, a brief introduction about the course. MSc Biotechnology is an acronym for Master of Science in Biotechnology. This is a two-year postgraduate course and in this course the students learn to create advanced technologies to improve human welfare. It includes study and research in bioprocesses development, industrial biotech, biomedical technology, cell biology, principles of bacteriology, virology and many other fields that require bioproducts. The purpose of this field is to provide advanced practical learning of techniques in biotechnology to the candidates pursuing this course. Moving on to the eligibility for admission. The eligibility conditions for the aspirants who want to pursue MSc Biotechnology are Students must have qualified graduation exams with an aggregate marks of around 35% in any life sciences subjects like botany, zoology, biochemistry, biotechnology, microbiology or even BSc Agricultural Sciences too. And the students who are appearing in the qualifying exams can also appear for admission. Now moving on to the admission process. Mostly in general cases, the universities and colleges who provide admission in MSc Biotechnology uh, take on the basis of the entrance exams. Now the top 5 competitive entrance exams every year which is conducted are IIT JAM that is Indian Institute of Technology Joint Admissions Test for MSc. Number 2 is Indian Institute of Medical Sciences that is AIMS MSc Biotech Entrance Exam. Third is ICARAIDEA PG Entrance Exam. Fourth is JNU CV that is Combined Biotechnology Entrance Exam. Fifth is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Graduate School Admissions Exam. Now moving on to the four subjects that this course covers. Firstly, Molecular Biology. Second is Food Technology and Nutrigenomics, Scientific Research and Communication. Exercises in Genetic Engineering. Animal Biotech, Genomics and Proteomics, Plant Biotech, Advanced Biological Chemistry, Advanced Genomics, Bioprocess Engineering, Fermentation Technology, and Aerobic and Anaerobic Engineering or Culture. And last is the Database Management and IPR Environment. Now moving on to the MSc Biotech Internship. In the last semester, students get an opportunity to experience the real laboratory work practices, which can also be termed as MSc dissertation. The students can complete their dissertation in any CSIR labs or industries or the research institutes. Some institutes even pay some amount of money during this period. Now moving on to the top colleges for MSc technology are firstly Bellor Institute of Technology that is Chennai, then Ames, then St. Xavier's College Mumbai, then Punjab University Punjab, then JNU Delhi, and lastly Oxford College of Science that is Kanak. Moving on to the exam pattern. Mostly universities conduct the exams in semester system. Like the whole course comprises of four semesters including internal exams with assignments with centers. Now coming to the fee structure. It actually depends on which college or university you are joining. In case you are joining a government university or college then it will be approx 20,000 to 40,000 per month and if you are joining a private university then it will be approx 50,000 to 70,000 per semester. Now moving on to what will you do after MSc part March. You can do further studies or you can move for a job. If you are doing further studies, then you can pursue higher studies in biotech and life sciences. You can do MBA, you can do doctoral course that is PhD in biotechnology. Now I will discuss about the career prospects. Mostly MSc 
Legacy Biotechnology postgraduates have successfully hired in Agricultural Biotech and Medical Biotech. In India, Medical Biotech is a progressive field. There are three types of categories in which the biotech sectors can be divided. Firstly, the startups which can set to grow in contact research. Second is the large pharmaceutical fields that is like Ranbaxy Labs. And third is the small startup companies. Now, one of the best applications for this course is to make career in the field of teaching. After completing MSc Biotechnology, then one can appear for CSIR NET from Life Sciences and can get lectureship from Central Government of India. After qualifying lectureship, he or she is eligible for teaching in any university or college with a handsome amount of time. There's another one step too, that is to pursue PhD in Biotech. Like after qualifying, CSIR NET, JRF Fellowship or any other national level fellowship like TBT that is BET or ICMR or ICAR etc. These fellowships may consist of approximately 30,000 to 45,000 per month. And the person having more interest in research can also do post job and get an opportunity to explore the international research programs. Now if you are moving for a job after doing MSc Biotechnology then your profiles will be like a uh, research scientist, quality control manager or quality control officer, regional manager, lab technician, quality controller or clinical technician. Now the list of top recruiters for MSc Biotechnology are Award Laboratory, Baxter, Johnson & Johnson, Piper. Lastly, I would like to discuss the required skill set for the best job placements for MSc graduates or postgraduates from biotechnology are analytical thinking skills, ability to work on your responsibility, knowledge of analytical chemistry, chemicals and its safe use, practical knowledge in using microscope, practical knowledge of molecular biology techniques and lastly good knowledge of computer. So this is all about MSc Biotechnology. So if you do want a career in this, visit our website knowmyscholarship.com and register yourself for more information regarding scholarship and admission. Our experts shall help. So with this, I would like to end my video. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. And if you have any queries, you can drop it down in the comment sections too. So 